What's happening, guys? Update on my trigger issue on my Berna LE. Shortly after posting that video, uh, thanks to our great community, I received a few messages in regards to the issue. A um, couple of suggestions. Um, one, another fellow had a similar issue and Berna advised him he may be over tightening his CO2 cap. Uh, and the second suggestion was oil your marker. Uh, I do put a, a drop of oil on my CO2 every time I insert one. I know Berna comes with an oiling kit and I did, they did include one in the package they sent or one of these ones here. Oil. But the reality is I have always oiled every CO2 just to drop on the, on the top with silicone oil and I've never had any issues with the marker. Um, but this marker did come from the factory. Who knows how long it may have been sitting. So I did oil that first CO2 cartridge. And after that, uh, if you watch the video, I didn't have any further trigger problems. I also may have inadvertently over tightened the cap the first time in combination with me not doing a full and complete pierce. It brings up a very good point with these markers because my previous LE, I had zero issues with the trigger. Um, there are nuances to each and every marker. They're built, you know, they're, they're attempted to be built with exact tolerances, um, but as we all know, they vary marker to marker. And this is a perfect example, something that I was used to doing didn't work exactly how it had in the past. So I learned, hopefully you learned. Uh, I got a Crossman CO2 in here. Out of curiosity, I wanted to fire off uh, some rounds and see if uh, I can match that 444 I got from the Burna CO2. So, puncher. I want to came out of there in a hurry. 438. Pretty darn close. And that could easily be just a temperature fluctuation from day to day or how I had this marker stored. Hey, 44. That one was a little lower. Hey, 22. 306. That is all. Have a good one.